Hi, I'm Leo Mahoney. I'm with Mallard Video and I thought I'd give you a quick tour of my Avid system today. I'm running Avid uh, 6.0.1 on a HP Z400 qualified Avid machine. Uh, the way I've got my system set up on this Winstead table, which has a very deep upper shelf, I have a 26 inch monitor. Let me just turn this down. I have a 26 inch monitor on the top tier that's set back that I have my timeline source and record monitors on and on the lower tier because for me it's easier to read I keep a 24 inch monitor that has my production tools and my bins that for me is easier to read also on the upper tier I keep my monitor speakers up there I use the Alesis uh, M1 Actives my router is up there for the Yukon controllers I have an SD Sony uh, broadcast monitor and I use another Sony as the uh, HD client monitor. All the analog audio goes into a Mackie board. Uh, from the Mackie board it leaves and goes into an Mbox uh, Pro Tools and from the Mbox uh, it goes into the system and uh, also the Aja IO Express box. Uh, which the output of the analog output comes back to the to uh, the Mackie so that I can have easy monitoring uh, of my program. I have a uh, Avid mapped keyboard for basic uh, keyboard commands and I also use two of the artist series uh, formerly Euphonics. I use the uh, MC control surface and I also use the uh, transport. The transport has just got an incredibly balanced, accurate, uh, large jog wheel. And the same with a rubberized shuttle wheel on the inside. Fully programmable. Uh, I have my keys uh, set up for me. Uh, this, this, this key here allows me to zoom in and out of the timeline. The next key to it, again, I can zoom out of the timeline. I can deselect all the tracks uh, or select all tracks and turn on jog and uh, shuttle. Simple commands on the side, mark in, mark out, play reverse, stop, play, clear mark, and mark out. On the touchscreen surface, uh, there's a few things here that are really of interest. Uh, you notice that I have another jog wheel and shuttle wheel here which I actually use a lot because this wheel, I don't know if you can hear it, is a uh, mechanical wheel. So when you, uh, for frame accurate work, just to step into an exact frame, I use this wheel uh, because it's uh, tactile. The soft keys and uh, uh, mechanical keys are again fully programmable. I have, uh, everyone sets their board up as, as, as they want. I have mine set up for all my basic uh, commands. I have the bottom buttons here. I have mark, mark in, mark out, play, OK, delete, and undo. I use that one a lot. And on the bottom tier, I can mark the clip, clear both marks, overwrite, splice in, extract, and lift. So these are my, these are my main editing keys here. Uh, and it also has a four channel. Um, audio surface. Let me just get this into play. So I turned it up here on the monitor. This is just a monitor. This has nothing to do with programming. It's just uh, to monitor the source audio. But on this, on, this ta on this set of faders, these two faders are live now to, to match my channels here. And you can preview audio effects and audio levels simply by writing the fader without laying any keyframes in. So this helps give you an idea of what your audio is going to be before you go into your Avid audio mixer and actually start dropping keyframes. You do have to leave the Avid mixer in the auto mode. And once in the auto mode, these keys, again, as I said, are live. And then if you want to actually record the keyframe, let's do a couple of keyframes here. You simply 
click on the auto mode. All right, this board is now live, so whatever I do to these faders are now putting keyframes on the audio channel. And we'll fade it out. Now, when we stop the edit, let's play it back now. And you can see that my keys. And then as we play the timeline down, you can see that the faders are moving the same way we had set it up when we recorded the keyframes. Very, very useful. It really is. And uh, that applause isn't for Avid. My storage is a set of GTEC 4 terabyte uh, eSATA boxes that are in a RAID 5 configuration. There is another box on the way that will bring me up to 12 terabytes, 11 terabytes functional. And that, my friends, is my Avid system. It's uh, very functional. Rock solid. I mean, Avid's uh, version 6 is just a phenomenal release. I've had zero problems with it. I'll see you next time. My name is Leo Mahoney. Bye.